On behalf of the nation, I have extended heartfelt sympathy to Her Majesty the Queen, the Royal Family, and the British people on the passing of His Royal Highness, the Duke of Edinburgh. Fellow Vincentians, I think it necessary that I address you considering the challenges with which we are faced at this time as a result of the ongoing volcanic eruption taking place at our Lassafre volcano. It was not so long ago that I had reason to address you concerning the COVID-19 pandemic that engulfed the world and which was termed an unprecedented crisis. At that time, I told you that for us in St. Vincent and the Grenadines, the onset of COVID-19 was unprecedented in the sense that although we have faced many national crises in the past, particularly those caused by adverse weather conditions, we have always been fortunate enough to receive assistance from friendly countries, sympathetic to our plight, but that with the COVID-19 pandemic, all countries are preoccupied, fighting for the survival of their own citizens. And as such, we are left very much on our own to fight for our survival. Well, this time it's different for we have seen the outpouring of support coming from our Caribbean neighbors and from friendly governments and people around the world. As soon as word got out that there was an explosive eruption of the Lassafre volcano. What we are experiencing is humanity as its best. That is the innate nature of human beings to show love, kindness, and compassion. We must remain mindful that COVID-19 is still very much with us and that we must never let our guards down as far as that is concerned. That makes this period of our lives so much more difficult, but we are a strong and resilient people and we will prevail over these setbacks. But we will only do so if we follow the protocols set by the authorities and be principled in our dealings with one another. Let us not allow dissent to be a watchword in a time when cooperation and forging a united front is absolutely necessary for our survival. I would hope that by now, there is no one left in the danger zone of the volcano, either because of infirmity and inability to access the means to move or through a conscious decision to stay put and not move. I know that the National Emergency Management Organization has done its best to ensure that all persons in the danger zone were given the opportunity and the means to get out of the danger zone. But if there is any person still remaining in the danger or red zone who have deliberately decided to stay there, I am now appealing to such persons to let common sense prevail and to get to a safe zone as soon as possible. I want to specifically address the persons who have had to leave their homes and seek shelter, either with relatives and friends in the safe zone or in the evacuation shelters. I know that having to leave the comfort of your home, to live in another setting with which you are not familiar could cause some discomfort, particularly if children are involved. I do empathize with you, but can assure you that the officials at NEMO 
will do all that is humanly possible to make you as comfortable as possible. Ms. Forbes and her team of hardworking officials have been preparing for this event for quite some time, and I am confident that their treatment of their charges will be nothing short of excellent. What I ask of you, the persons moving into the homes of relatives and friends and into shelters, is that you carry yourselves with dignity and be respectful of the persons who have opened their homes to you and who are looking after you at the shelters. Please follow instructions and assist in keeping your surroundings clean. Also, be mindful that you are still expected to follow the COVID-19 protocols. Ensure that you keep a keen eye on the activities of your children and they are not allowed to engage in any unsavory behavior. In other words, pull your weight in order to ensure that your stay away from your home is as pleasant as possible since we do not know how long that period is going to be. Let us also bear in mind that our country's economy has already been devastated by the COVID-19 pandemic. The additional toll on the economy by the Lucifer eruption is going to set us back tremendously. And as such, there will be sacrifices to be made by all of us. We will have to temper our demands on the government because the economic pie would have shrunk so much smaller. Thus, the greater reason why we have to remain disciplined for the future demands that we settle down to hard work and engage with our productive sectors to help build a vibrant St. Vincent and Grenadines for ourselves and for future generations. I want to commend the Prime Minister and his government for the able handling of this current catastrophic event and ask the nation as a whole to rally around the government in order to ensure that we get through this with as little damage as possible. I also applaud the leader of the opposition and his team for their involvement in this time of crisis. All hands are needed on deck, and that's the only way we can rise triumphant from this temporary derailment. No praise is too high for the team of seismologists and volcanologists from the University of the West Indies Seismic Research Center, who have been with us from the inception of the rumblings from La Soufre, and who have done human work in keeping us informed of the various phases leading up to the explosive eruptions. Of course, special mention has to be made of our own Professor Richard Robertson, who has proven to us that he is a scientist of exceptional quality which could only have been achieved through hard work and dedication to his chosen field. He is certainly a role model for our young and upcoming scientists. I congratulate you on your excellent work, Dr. Robertson. Ms. Michelle Forbes, Director of NEMO and her team of workers must be praised to the hilt for their handling of the crisis so far. They have certainly planned their work well and have worked assiduously to their plan. 
My final request is that we all be our brother's keepers during these trying times. May God bless us all.